parents. Today I want to talk to you about how you can help your child develop fine motor skills at home in simple, fun, easy to prepare ways. And these tips are things that will not take a whole lot of prep time, they will not take a huge investment, so hopefully they will be simple enough where you can just implement them throughout your day in organic ways. So the first tip I have is for you to have a little background knowledge on what's typical for preschoolers. You might already know that gross motor skills typically develop first. Children start walking, crawling, running, all of that wonderful stuff before they focus on things with the small muscles in their hands like a pincer grasp or holding a pencil, holding a crayon. And that's very typical, as I mentioned, but we can help support them in developing those small muscles also. And one of those ways is thinking about the interest your child already has. So what do they enjoy doing with their time when they're playing with toys? If they like large blocks, maybe purchase or find around your house smaller blocks. So they have to use the small muscle, muscles of their hands as opposed to a grasp like this, where that's kind of a gross motor skill at that point. Next, Legos are amazing. Large Legos, Duplo Legos, those are great. But as your child gets to be around four years old, they can use those smaller pieces. And Lego, as you probably know, has amazing things that you can build. And creativity-wise, the possibilities are endless. They have fun characters, all that kind of stuff. And Legos are a bit of an investment. So if you would like, I could loan some to you, no problem. And have your ch child build some fun things at home. It's a great way you can get involved too. I mean, even adults love Legos, right? So try Legos. They're super small and they're also very fun. Next, if your child is more creative and creativity inclined, they like to do things more artistic, you can, you can get a paint set. Simple, right? So watercolors, they have to use those small muscles of the hand to hold the paintbrush. And we can encourage them to use those small muscles too, as opposed to holding the paintbrush like this. So, and find new ways to extend that love of painting or drawing or coloring with just different things. You can maybe use some pastel colors, um, oil pastels, or a really fun zen activity you can try outside is just getting a paintbrush wet with water and drawing on the sidewalk. You can watch things come and watch things go. The children absolutely love this experience. We can also develop fine motor skills outside by using sponges. And that's another thing they can do on the sidewalk. Get the sponges wet that you probably already have at home, a dish towel rag, and have them squeeze the water out onto the sidewalk. And they can erase something they've already drawn or just watch the way that the water splatters onto the sidewalk. There's all kinds of fun water activities. Children absolutely love water and they're drawn to it. And with the right supervision, it should absolutely be a part of your fun experiences at home. I definitely encourage water, bubbles, all that kind of stuff. In the bath, you could use the crayons that they have now where you can draw on the wall. It's just a fun way for them to build more fine motor skill activities into their day. And last, I wanna mention snack time. Everyone's favorite time, especially if you're a three-year-old, right? Have them make snack time into a little bit of a learning time. So if you're having goldfish or grapes or tiny bunny crackers, something along those lines, they can count each one out of their bowl up to a certain number. And even though it sounds simple, even sound, even if it sounds like, uh, I'm not sure if my kiddo will like that. If you give it enough tries or even just try it out for the first time, you might find they think it's pretty fun. They start to play with the little bunnies and make them hop, have the little fish swim, all that kind of stuff. So have them take out just one at a time as, to po as opposed to a handful that they might be used to putting in their mouth, just one at a time and count one fish two fish, three, four, and they're having to use those small muscles to pick up the tiny little snack items. And also there's printables you can get for 100% free off the internet that involve things like Cheerios and you can do little math activities where they have to count and place on the little mats one, two, three Cheerios over on this side of the paper and two Cheerios maybe on the other side of the paper. And then we combine the Cheerios into a little math story problem and we find out how many Cheerios we have all together. So you can build, of course, all different kinds of curriculum into fine motor skill building. It does not, and it's usually not, just fine motor skills that you're building. In this instance, you're also working on math skills and hand-eye coordination. They all work together in this wonderful, magical way, if you ask me. So I hope you saw that the common thread, thread through all of this is that you can do these things at home 
during your daily routine, you don't have to add a whole lot on to what you're already doing. Just kind of switch the flip, uh, flip the switch in your brain a little bit and say, how can I make this activity one where my little one is getting more opportunities to use the small muscles in their hands? And that will work wonderful in wonderful ways to help prepare them to write. And if they are interested in writing, I highly encourage them to practice writing names of the people and the places and the things that they love in their lives. So that will of course start with their own name. They absolutely love writing their own names and parents' names, siblings' names, grandma and grandpa's names. And they can also write things like lists, a grocery list, a Christmas list, a list of things they want to do that day. And at first their handwriting might simply be just mock handwriting. They're pretending to write and that is totally fine. And they might throw in some letters here and there with your guidance or if they already know some, wonderful. Just find things that they are naturally excited about. We want learning to be fun. We want learning to be engaging. We want that love of learning to continue and continue and continue. And if we're forcing things on our little ones before they're ready, such as long handwriting prep or skill books, those can be tedious, they can be tiresome, and they're definitely not super exciting. So just build this stuff into your day if at all possible, and I can guarantee you will see, and I will see at school too, because I can definitely tell a big difference in your child. They'll be having fun while developing those small muscles of the hand. So thanks for watching. Like I said before, if you have questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them.